In this video, I'm going to show you what I do when I feel the poison ivy itch coming on. I've had poison ivy many times. It's really nasty if you get it. Pus oozing everywhere. Although they do have it medication now where you don't have that itch anymore, but you still get pus and oozing, and it's a lot of painful, and you got to change a lot of bandages out. But say you're working outside, remember poison ivy can linger on tools it's, it's like an oil it's like motor oil you know if you get motor oil it's black in it it's hard to get off but this is what i do and i've never had poison ivy since i've been using this method uh it's cvs walgreens uh walmart anywhere like that united states you can buy this product called Technu. you know actually i think i could only get this at cvs but uh so they have this thing, a tech new family. I don't use this anymore, medicated and I itch spray because I, the method I'm going to show you, I never get to the point where I'm, I do feel the initial itch. Uh, it's like an itch that won't go away, but it's not real severe. But if you let it linger, you got to try to catch it within two hours or you're going to, the poison ivy oil might get into your skin. They, I think it's Urashil or something like that. How to pronounce it, I'm not sure. So, forget this product, but the full, so far the method I've found every time, when I feel that itch coming on and I, if I let it go, if I don't stop it, it's not like the itch is real bad, it'll, uh, but by the end of the night, the next, it might take two days to infect you till you see any pus coming up, but uh, if you feel the itch, you're working outside, like I say, it can stay on your tools for, for, for weeks, I hear, on your clothes, anywhere you're exposed to poison ivy. It's like an oil. It's like if you're working on motor oil, you, you bump up against something that, that the motor oil will go everywhere unless you take care of it. So you can do this. Say I had poison ivy itch right here, which I do feel a little bit right now. You can take some pure dishwashing liquid because wouldn't motor oil get rid of pure dishwashing liquid it can be dawn whatever get rid of motor oil if it was on your skin it would right if you rubbed it hard enough so rub it pretending like, mo mo like motor oil okay now you don't have to use that but I've never had a problem since I've been doing this method you could do this but you can also probably get by with this it's either pink or white you got to shake it it's called outdoor skin cleaner technu Last a really long time. The real way is you're supposed to wipe it off. But if you're outside, you're not around water or nothing. I can't speak for how safe it is, but I've never had a problem. It doesn't affect me. I've been I've done it probably 50 times. Just put on that oil, rub it around. So you you're pretending like there's motor oil on there. You know how hard motor oil is to get. But once you rub in the real heavy soap on motor oil, you know the motor oil dissolves starts to dissolve and then you can wipe it away but you don't need to wipe it away and I don't even recommend you wipe it away personally but then you take this stuff here it's called uh, poison ivy oak scrub so do it in this order use this stuff first the outdoor skin cleanser and then you put on this stuff it's a gooey like I say it's poison ivy oak scrub it, it's like a gel, but it has like a little bit of a sandpaper grit to it. So it looks like you can buy it at CVS, Walgreens. So you just put a little bit on there. This stuff will last a long time. You're just using a few drops of each, you know, basically. So this is like a gel. Just rub it on there and you feel like a little bit of, it's like a little bit of sand, sand mixed in with the gel. Just do those two things. Just keep on working until you take your shower at night. Uh, I've never had a poison ivy outbreak since I, I did that method, so uh, If you want to give it a try for yourself see what you think Of course there is a possibility of it getting into your bloodstream, but I've never had a problem. I've, I've done it 50 times I don't feel any negative effects. Of course I, you, you can check into it to yourself check with your doctor or whatever, but if you just want to try it I don't know, but it's always worked for me. So if you like this video on how to try to Keep poison ivy away from me when you feel that feel that it's coming on just put it just do that method you don't like say necessarily need the dishwashing liquid but you could if you wanted to
I've done it both ways, with or without the dishwashing liquid, full strength. Uh, and that should keep you out of their poison ivy problems. Uh, if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. And let me know your results below if it worked for you.